the many ways to say hello at our school. Kamusta ka? See ya. Zdravo. Good talk. Assalamu alaikum. Ni hao ma. So okay. Orchard Park's Lack of Second Language Education by Courtney Laszlo and Zipporah Van Olden. Today we're talking to you, fellow patriots, about the lack of second language education at our school. Despite the immense amount of multiculturalism at Orchard Park, French and Italian are the only two languages offered to students. It's time to expose Orchard Park's lack of second language education so something can finally be done. To begin, we ask real OP students the advantages of being bilingual. Hey Navdi, can you tell me some advantages of being bilingual? Yeah, I think it like, I think knowing another language makes you smarter. It challenges you to think and communicate in both languages. So I guess it's kind of like exercising your brain, which probably helps with other hard stuff like math. So it's good to get all that help you can get. Yay! Sure, it helps prevent Alzheimer's and dementia because like it makes your brain work, and I guess it helps you like retain the information from another language. So yeah, that's always a good thing. Actually, my first language really isn't English, and I know for a fact that being bilingual really helps improve my first language skills, which is Urdu. Uh, it actually, I pay more attention to the structure of my language, and it makes me a better communicator and listener. Wow, thanks. No problem. It definitely gives you more job opportunities, since many employers want someone who can speak another language other than English. In Canada, it's French, but any second language is valuable. My pig Latin often comes in handy. I think that people should be taking uh, second languages or third or fourth. Um, I definitely wish that I was more fluent in languages other than English and uh, I would support um, making it easier for students to take those courses through high school. Despite the obvious benefits, Orchard Park offers a limited number of languages to students. We are just scratching the surface of OP's language potential. More languages like Mandarin, Urdu, German, Hindi, and Spanish need to be offered to students to get them excited about learning a second language. French and Italian are not necessarily for everyone, and offering a wider variety of languages to students will help bridge this gap. What's up with second languages in Canada anyway? Rates of bilingualism are currently on a downward trend, with only 18% of the population, or 5.2 million people, defining themselves as bilingual. Only 17.5% of Canadians can speak a second language, whereas 53% of Europeans are bilingual while a staggering 99% of Latinos can speak more than one language. Census data found that learning a second language diminishes after leaving high school and is on the decline for people whose first language is English. Now, how can Canadians bridge this language gap? By starting in our very own high schools, by offering more languages to students. We look at the multiculturalism at Orchard Park. The love of one's country is a splendid thing, but why should that love stop at the border? I'm Indian, and I'm disappointed that Hindu is not uh, offered in, in this school. I know so many people, including myself, that would be excited to take a class that was available here and give me the opportunity to actually learn more of my uh, language. My name is Sam Pearson, and my family speaks a variety of different Celtic languages. Um, I think it would be cool if we offered it here at Orchard Park because I know a lot of other students that would like to take it as well, including myself. So. Hey, my name is Navi. 
<laughs> hey, my name is Navi. I speak both English and Punjabi, but I only get to use Punjabi at home. So I would definitely be more interested in learning a second language for all four years if Punjabi was offered at high school. So Hungarian is my second language, and I speak that at home. I think it's really unfortunate that Orchard Park doesn't offer other second language courses, and it, I don't believe it reflects the multicultural community here at Orchard Park. So many cultures, nationalities, and languages under one roof. And it's such a shame that our school doesn't offer more languages to students with such an obvious need. In fact, the most popular response from students to the question, what would convince you to take a second language past grade 9 in our most recent survey was a greater variety of second languages to choose from. With better textbooks and educational materials being a close second, and different language teachers being last. It's time to get to the bottom of OP's lack of language education. We interview real OP teachers about the school's lack of second languages. Bonjour. Bonjour, Corinne, ça va? Ça va bien. Ça va bien aussi. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay. Do you feel that many students take French for all four years? The numbers have gone down, uh, mainly because now there's no longer grade 13. So students are very uh, limited as to which subjects they can take. And many times French is being offered at the same time slot as uh, math or science, and if they're going into engineering or into the sciences in the university, they will opt to take the uh, science or the math as opposed to taking the language class. So yes, the numbers have gone down substantially in the last uh, few years. Absolutely. I feel that if we had more languages offered at Orchard Park, our department would be a larger department and students would have more choices. Um, many high schools offer German, Spanish, uh, various languages. We only offer uh, English and French. Uh, years ago when I started at Orchard Park, we offered Spanish and up till two years ago we offered Italian. And unfortunately, it is no longer um, offered because uh, there's no time slots for them. And because of this, a lot of students are opting to choose other courses as opposed to languages because not all students want to study French. They would love to study another language, but not necessarily French. So yes, absolutely. I think if we had other languages available to students, um, there would be more interest in the language department. Thank you. It's a, good, it's a good start, it's a good base, however, if we did offer other languages such as Spanish or Serbian or Polish or German, other high schools offer various languages, so I think if we did offer um, more languages, our department would grow, and uh, we are a multi multicultural country, and therefore we should be very open to all the different languages that are in our country for people all over the world. And international communication is very important uh, for culture, for diplomacy, for business. And overall, uh, being able to offer different languages in a school for students to learn is a real asset. And I believe that Orchard Park uh, should have more languages offered uh, in the future. Within, within enforcing second language education. 
Yeah, my Italian class was canceled. Part of it is the school's fault because they should offer more languages in the first place so more students will enroll. They only offer French and Italian here, but some people want to learn more languages than just that. Yes, there's a lack of second languages at OP because I know there's another high school that teaches German as a um, elective, and um, my German, my family is a quarter German, and I would like to take German so I can talk to my family. So if German was in our school, I would definitely take it. Orchard Park is doing students a disservice by depriving them of the opportunity to learn more than just French and Italian. Shouldn't bilingualism be more than a mere accident of family circumstance? Such an opportunity should be available to all OP students. And it starts with offering more languages. However, the fight for OP's language education is not for the faint of heart. Invest in our future. The future of OP students by offering more second languages to them. Invest in me. Invest in me. Invest in me. Invest in me. Invest in us.